Santa Maria and Cosmodon is famous for the symbol that sits outside. It's the mouth of truth. But inside these walls, worshipers are finding a truly new meaning to preaching the gospel. This church may be in the heart of the Catholic Church, but on this night, the words spoken into the mic are in Arabic. Starting in 2010, Santa Maria and Cosmodon is celebrating the gospel in Arabic every Thursday. For Razar Francois Bittar of Syria, preaching in one's native tongue is as essential as taking the daily bread. Worshipping God is uh, a very personal thing, actually. So um, I think that the relation between mm, your heart and your God is something that uh, you have to uh, grow up with. So uh, how could it be if not in your own language? The church belongs to the Melkite Greek Catholic Church. Many of the worshippers here were born in the Middle East and were born Christian. People tend to think everyone who's from the Middle East is a Muslim, but that's not true. This is a church that speaks Arabic. We are Christian, we were baptized Christian, and we're happy. But while these parishioners can now practice their faith in their own language, back home, Christians like them are finding it impossible to practice their faith altogether. They're finding themselves as a minority in the place where Christianity was born. Christianity came from the Middle East and uh, uh, its roots are uh, almost there from, you know, the very beginning of the Christianity. And uh, we in Middle East are continuing to, trying to continue to uh, conserve um, our, our faith and uh, to practice it. Um, among a lot of difficulties in, uh, in a Muslim world. Slowly, since about the 7th century, there have been difficulties. The truth is, there have been so many Christians who have converted to Islam, but it's impossible for Muslims to convert to Christianity. These issues and others, including the situation of Catholics in the Middle East, an ecumenical dialogue will be addressed later this year at the Special Synod on the Middle East. But for now, Christian Arabs in Rome are thankful they're seeing and hearing a sign of progress.